Hello everybody in the chess world. So today part two of the Owens defense and now we get to see the juicy stuff like all the anti Owens defense and all the lines that are supposed to have refuted this opening, uh, you know, the, like schemes for white that were the reasons for a lot of players to stop using this one. And as I mentioned before, well, it, normally everything starts with bishop on d3. This is the, the move that I told you were in here, both knight on f3 and knight on c3 with the idea of answering bishop before with knight g2 uh, are the ways, you know, like the white is using to refute this. So besides that, I will also show you some additional anti always uh, systems in here. For example, a3 is one to simply prevent, trying to prevent the bishop on before. And another try that is f4. Okay, these ones are not going to be hard to understand, but I'll show them later. Let us start for the most important thing, what to play here against knight on f3 and knight on c3. So let us start with this knight on f3 that was considered the best move uh, some time ago. Now, I remember that when I was studying this um, in the database of chess space, you know, there were, I was taking on all, only the games that were analyzed by grandmasters. And they all agreed that in here, well, now there is obviously, we, it's quite obvious that we, we cannot continue with our bishop on before strategy. I mean, even c3 will be possible in that, in that case. And, well, I mean, it's, I mean, playing d5 looks weird. But I mean, they, they could just take it, you know, we don't want to take it with the bishop because knight on c3 taken with the pawn will leave our bishop kind of locked down, you know. Um, what else? I mean... The uh, C5 was given as for by these grandmasters as like the only move, you know, the only strategical correct move. C5, it's a decent move, but it's definitely not the only move. Okay, the idea that they took was uh, playing something like this. It's very, very unambitious by Black, but it, it it's quite sound. Now, um... I don't know, even C3 could be a <laughs> sort of a complicated move to face in here. So again, it's not quite quite correct, but you know, knight on F6 is actually the correct move. I don't know why all these informators were like insisting on C5. Knight on F6 is obviously the most um, Owens defense-like move. We just, again, develop a piece, put pressure on the E4 pawn. And I mean, this was actually played by uh, Nepomniachtchi against Grishuk. So you can see that, yes, of course, the Owens defense is not a guest normally in the Super GM level. But in some quick, uh, you know, like rapid games and stuff, they use this opening just as, you know, the club player. And this is the right move, Nate on F6. Again, the idea is the same. If they advance the E pawn, we can get into E4. So, you know. And after Queen on E2, well, again, we and now we're playing the normal, you know, main line of the of the Owens defense, but just not not having included Knight C3 nor Bishop on B4. But now it makes sense, you know. So if if I will, you know, get this the continuation in that game, Knight takes C5 and C3. This is Grishuk against Nepomniach. The black is fine here. <laughs> this is no reputation of the Owens defense, and the game followed like this. I'll pass the moves quickly. I mean, normal chess, and I mean here, yeah, white keeps a slight edge, but what are fine for black? This was that game, you know. Um, okay, before going to the other line, the knight on c3, I'll share a little secret with you. Me personally, against both knight on c3 and knight on f3, I always play g6. I always transpose into the hypo high, high uh, opening. I, of course, I'm not going to show you this because, well, if you don't like that opening, I'm, I'm not going to be showing, you know, a survey on the Owens defense and telling, oh, okay, if they play this, you just play this other opening that you might not like. Uh, might, might not uh, like. Of course, I'm not going to do that. Still, it's interesting to, to tell you this because, um, of course, I like this against both knight on f3 and also against knight on c3. The thing is that Another thing that I like about this is that this scheme for white, you know, against the hypopotamus, it's not a bad scheme, but it's definitely not the most sound one. So just keep that in mind. And if you like the hypo, 
you can always pass from <laughs> a, lo a lot of strong players do that you know they play the own own defense if white this is the best scheme they go for the high pawn me amongst them but of course i'm going to show you what to play you know keeping the our own defense spirit you know not trying <laughs> having to transpose into another opening so knight on c3 as i said as Narodinsky showed, if you play bishop before, you just, you know, fall in, into white's AD. And now they protect the knight. The bishop is on the three in front of the knight, you know, already developed in here. So everything makes sense. And, you know, if we play, play knight of six, they just play castles. We're not attacking anything. Uh, or if we go g5 immediately, once again, castles. And it's not easy here. Um... I don't know, uh, for example, if we take it and play knight on f6, this, this looks uh, comfortable. But look at this, knight on g3. Uh, I think there was a game like this. And if natural castles, queen on g4. We're already under attack. Okay? What Narodinsky said makes sense, you know, we're threatening bishop on g5. We cannot play h6 because knight h5 will beat us. Uh, if we play natural... I mean, they'll take our, our dark squares. I mean, so, again, um, it is understand I understand why a lot of players stop playing the Owens defense because of this particular position. And yes, it is true that Bishop on before is not the right move. At the same time, c5 is also not, not a resource here because a d5 were much worse. So yeah, Black was having trouble uh, defining what to play, but hey, once again, this is the own defense that you should go, you should use here. This is a normal move, just knight on f6. And this is a normal position because now when they play knight g on e2, now we just do go d5. And once again, we we put the knight in there. So it's just a matter of, I think that we, what we sh what should be said about this position, you know, either if, you know, whether we choose knight on c3 or knight on f3 is that it's not that they are refutations of the Owens defense. It's it's a little bit of a refutation of the most used plan on the Owens defense. But of course, we can always adapt. You know, there's just, you know, no problem. You know, adaptation, it's fine. So let us go back. Knight f6, knight g2. We put the knight in there. And I think here, I mean, it was uh, short castle was, was recommended. If you take to, I don't know what you can do here. This try and take that pawn. You already give black time to play c5, and here on the center seems like white's not on on in, in time. And if short castles, queen d7, you know, knight c6. We can always get in time to attack that pawn, and now long castles, you know. So it's uh, I I don't think they should take that. I think they should play natural castles. This should be our, like our main line, you know. This 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 should be like a position that you play a lot of times with with black in here, and you can just discharge and and I don't know. I mean, I know that the engines are giving c five and total equality here for black. I like that move. I think you, you could play it. Uh, you can even place just normal knight on c6, um, queen d7, and now it's your choice. Uh, maybe you'll play like this. Maybe you'll just go for long castles. Uh, maybe you'll you'll go. I don't know. I mean, maybe you'll go c5 in here. But you can see. I mean, it's black is fine. <laughs> there are no no such thing as a refutation of the own defense. You just have to play the right moves with black. So let me you know having already talked about all, all of these uh, controversial lines let us go for this auto tries for white that i talked about before one is a3 you know again the most anti owen <laughs> possible move and the other as is a4 so before showing you the concrete moves that we'll use against these moves let us think about it conceptually None of those moves are doing anything to prevent us for, you know, successfully putting the normal always plan, well developed pieces, and at the same time trying to take the initiative by hitting the pawn. It's always now is the same procedure. So if a three, you know, uh, we can just go for knight on f six. There's no problem, right? So you know, let, let me go. Actually, let me go back. I'll I'm gonna go to the actual archive, so I'll show you all of that, but. You'll see how basically against both moves, we'll just play the, the natural knight on f6, 
one once again, yeah, you know, which will be so in a3 again we develop a piece, we hit on e4. So bishop on d3 as usual. Look, in this case, after e5, if you want, you can always play knight on e4. I mean, I have done stuff like that, you know, it's kind of like this in some games, even then going for g6. These are possible lines. You can even play it like this. Knight on, uh, sorry, here, knight, knight on d5. Because if they take to then play c4 winning the tempo, it's, I mean, you're fine here. Right? Okay, this is, it's not even an ambitious because we're going to play c6, uh, c5 and d5. Just take it and c5. It's like one of the super normal opening, right? Like that white hasn't got anything, I think. Pawn takes, bishop takes. Um, and going back, I think, well, they should therefore play the natural bishop on e3, but well, now, not once again, we can, now we can just go c5. I mean, d5 is controlled, they cannot advance that pawn, and after knight on f3, again, there are options. You can always go for the same procedure that I show you, know, in another GM recommendation, you know, like, take stakes and play like this. Actually... You are super solid in here. There are there were even some plans of going bishop on d6, you know. <laughs> really interesting uh ways. Um so I don't think really I, I don't think that a3 will give us any problem. Uh I think the same thing about the foreign, you know. I don't think it's a bad move, but well, we can switch back to normal Owens strategy. Bishop on b4, we're already hit on e4. We don't give white the time to Oh, there's another detail. After bishop on e3, in this position, we have f5. So, you know, you, you never have stuff like this, you know, in check, because we have king on f8. Here, we, we need just the, the rook on h1. So, if that doesn't... Well, queen on e2 should be played. And just let us just, just, just take everything. When they hit our rook on a8 like this, we'll just... Obviously, you know, play the normal knight on c6. And then win a tempo with just a developing knight on f6. Queen on d3. Castles, castles. Queen in e8. Interesting move. Maybe we want to play queen on h5. Even queen on g6. The engine was showing some lines where, instead of this, uh, black was even going like this. Like allowing queen takes and pawn takes. And, I don't know, uh, black is always fine. So, okay, this, these two schemes in particular, not so hard to, to refute that really, for me, really important for you to, you know, stop believing that myth that knight on f3 or knight on c3 with bishop on d3 before is a clear advantage for white. Uh, nothing could be far away from the truth. Uh, but okay, um, I'm going to leave it right here for this video. In On the next video, we're going to see the Samish approach. F3, 6, and now, well, there is bishop on E3, but there's also even play like this. We'll have a lot of fun with that line, and I think it's uh, whenever I play the Owens defense, if I could choose, I will choose uh, for white to play like this, because of what can, might happen. But, uh, okay, as usual, uh, like, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you next time.